Hey XXL family and friends. Say hi Bruce. Say hi. Welcome back and happy new year. Today I wanted to share how I digitally plan and goal set for my small business and for my life too. All in my favorite productivity tool, Notion. I first started using Notion in 2021 when I realized I needed a more portable planner because I was saving stuff on the desktop in folders and it just wasn't it just wasn't doing the trick because then it would just be on that one computer. And I just really needed a space to organize all of my random brainstorms. My YouTube posting calendar, travel plans, you name it, my life is on here. Notion has been a very impactful part of my digital planning and I'm really excited to share that Notion is sponsoring today's video. Let's dive into it, shall we? It's so heavy, I gotta put them down. I'm so excited to finally share my notion and a walkthrough because I truly use it every day for work and personal. Notion is like my home base where I plan my day, my next days, my trips. It's like my digital brain. I can leave my thoughts to rest there while I continue and go about my day and complete my tasks. Giving me the mental space and capacity to offload information that I don't need to just keep in my brain. This is also how I assign tasks for my team. And it's just become such a vital organizational tool for us since I started to work from home more. Or if it's like 9 p.m. at night and I'm just checking some last minute emails and then I think of something that we need to do the next day, I can just pop it in Tatum's Notion just like this and she'll see it the next day when she logs in. It's amazing for us to have a space to collaborate and work together. I also am going on vacation soon, which I planned on my Notion, you guys will see soon, but I can plan out the next following weeks for Tatum with tasks to do. And while I'm on my trip, if I think of something, I could just update it in there too. It's perfect because then while I'm away, I know what's getting done. She'll know exactly what to do and I'll also get to truly enjoy my vacation. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss him. First time leaving him for three weeks. Anyways, if Tatum has questions about a task or it doesn't get done, she can just shuffle it off to the next day or leave a little note because I can check in on her day to day and answer any questions she has right in Notion instead of texting about it, which is hard because then you have to kind of re-explain the whole task, but if she has a question, she just writes it down underneath if I'm away and we can talk about it the next day when I'm back at work or if I'm gonna be on vacation, I can just reply to it or say, we'll deal with it when I'm back. I actually wanted to dive in on my yearly 2024 plan and goals for the year. Oh my goodness, good boy. He's a good boy. I'm gonna be filling it in live with you guys on Notion. P.S. Spoiler to the XXL Scrunchie fam. For those of you guys who don't know, I have a small business and we sell hair accessories online. We hand make all our scrunchies in our shop and our yearly goals. This might be a spoiler alert for the launches that we're gonna have this year and the new products. Firstly, I'm gonna go to the bottom left in Notion and click on templates. And I'm gonna browse one of the planner templates to to plan my year out. So let's see, to-do list, projects and tasks. Cool, there's a tab for employee benefits. 2024 yearly goal tracker. Let's see what that looks like. Cool. There were tons of free templates to choose from in Notion, but I actually found a fellow YouTuber, Jules Acree, and she had a Notion pack for download that had this, I, ha I already downloaded it into my Notion. She had this one, 2024 yearly plans and goals, and it just, the layout of what she did made sense. So I purchased her template and I'm gonna be using it and I'm filling it out live with you guys. By the way, this is not the only type of template you could use. And if you're not, Bruce is snoring. If you're not sure how to get started, there's thousands of templates already pre-made to use for almost anything like weekly planning, groceries, habits, even wedding planning. And this is me manifesting, guys. There's limitless customizations, which is what I love about Notion. You can change the font, the text, emojis, add pictures, add videos, add little clocks, widgets. I like that I can grab a template and then make it into my own. 
big time saver, less thinking, more focus on the productivity. I find when I make my workspace aesthetic, I enjoy it more. Just like having a clean workspace, I enjoy doing my work more when it's a clean space, when it's organized. I just look forward to it more. Okay, let's start filling this out. The first thing says word of the year. My word of the year, I think, will be balance. What does balance mean? To me, balance means... This is so hard. Actually, it's pretty cool because I can type a space bar and ask AI to find balance in life. AI is writing. Balance in life refers to achieving an optimal level of well-being by maintaining a harmonious blend of different aspects of life such as work, health, relationships, and personal growth. And having a puppy dog. It involves dedicating appropriate time and energy to each of these areas to prevent one from overshadowing the others. Okay, that was way better definition than I could write. Notion AI is built right into Notion, by the way. And I think it's like an add-on for $10 or something to your, to your plan if you want, really handy. So yes, this is what I want. I want balance this year with my life, with my work life, with my small business, because I'm a really big overworker. And I had a couple of breaks downs after the holidays because for a small business during the holidays it's our busiest time and it's the time that most small businesses make the most of their income so we make the most of our income to survive again for the next year and work hard again for the next holiday season and it's really stressful because I'm working extra overtime than I already do and just when there's so many orders happening you just feel more stressed because there's a lot more to deal with and there's lots of orders we want to get out and with that there's issues with stuff like shipping delays and scrunchy selling out and people not getting the right product. So I'm trying to work on balance really hard, but I just love what I do so much. So it's hard. Like I'm trying to not overwork when I don't want to, but like sometimes I got to, but sometimes I really, I want to. So I'm trying to find all this balance because we just recently got a puppy dog. If I didn't already mention that a million times because I'm, I'm obsessed and I already want another one, but he, Bruce has brought me a lot of balance because he, he gets me outside. And then I have a really amazing relationship. We're almost celebrating our two year anniversary. We're going on a trip to Bali in a couple weeks and I wanna make room for that too and not have my work overshadow it. So next up, let's talk about my goals. We can actually just start dumping out my goals onto here together. I'm just gonna zoom it in a little so it looks bigger. Our first goal, I'm just gonna write out the names and then we can fill in the details later. So I'm gonna launch Restock Limited Edition Easter Scrunchie, The Willow. So it has been, it's in progress because my two remote seamstresses, my aunt and uncle have already cut the fabric and we're going to be elasticing it this Monday because it's an Easter fabric. So we wanna get on top of it before February so that people can possibly have them for Easter. So I'm gonna put it's professional and it's so cool. You can create new options. If it's not a personal or professional goal, it could be like a puppy goal, but you just click up here, you can add more puppy. Cute. Okay, but this is a professional goal. You know what? I could call it an XXL goal. <laughs> XXL goal for when? So we can put it between April to June or January to March, which is right now, makes sense. Supporting articles. What is this? Oh, you can link to a page so we could write. I don't really need to link this one to a page. So I'm gonna skip it related to 2023 tasks. I'm just gonna skip that one too. So next up, we are doing a collaboration post launch of scrunchies with this local charity called Reaching for Rainbows. We're gonna be launching scrunchies with them and donating a portion of the sales directly to their charity, which I'm really excited about. So let's call this R for R scrunchie launch. It's XXL goal. It's in progress. April to June is when we want to launch it, but it's already been started because there's like 500 maybe scrunchies. They're all limited edition florals and I know you guys love that stuff. So let me make a new page. R for R to-do list. And if I click into the to-do list, it opens up here on the side, which is amazing to do. I like adding a divider and then the, the first was getting it approved. We got it approved by the board. We got to wait for Monday for the board of directors to confirm the paper tags, order the paper tags, start elasticing them. 
photo shoot with Cassandra on organize the photos, make the promotional reel. So I'll be posting that on our TikTok, our YouTube shorts and Instagram to get the word out and help promote and explain the story behind the collaboration and share a bit more about the charity and where the proceeds are gonna go to. I'm so excited to give back. It's one of my 2024 goals actually. Don't forget, have a sip of water today. Pick the launch day. I'm thinking April because there's a lot to make. We got to cut the fabric, elastic it, sew it, and trim the thread and staple the paper tags on. Hi. Who <laughs> <laughs> say hi? Don't say hi. Oh, I can't, I can't. Jeff says hi. I'm going to Bali with him. I can't wait. Mm, now I'm so distracted and defocused. Upload products to Shopify, our codes, Insta posts, emails for, there's a lot to do for a scrunchy launch, film for YouTube. Okay, I think that's it for now. Before I get overwhelmed, I'm gonna move on to our next goal. Summer floral hair claws, XXL goal for July to September. It has kind of started. We start cutting our fabric so early and start making the samples so we can do photo shoots early. The next one, Christmas drop velvets. This is gonna be October to December, one last I don't think we started it yet. One last big launch and then this is technically 2025, which I already kind of have planned for. I want to do a bunch of hair claw drop in the R for R to-do list. We're also launching towels. So we have towels with my artwork on it. I'm really excited this year. Okay, what else? In this one. Okay, so those are my business big goals and launches for the year. Giving back, doing all these launches, new fabrics, new hair claws, new products such as our towels and XXS tote bags tiny tote bags. We're also going to do new hair cloth shapes, which I'm excited about, but I can't share too much because we got to keep a little bit of it on the down low for you guys to be surprised, especially when it's not perfectly planned out yet. Don't want to give too much away because it's so hard not to. Um, so let's do some personal goals, shall we? Like work from home once a week. I just really love personal. I kind of started this at the beginning of the year, I was every Tuesday work from home, but now that we're going to Bali in a couple weeks, I really need to, there's been a lot more I need to do at work. And I found I've been more productive at work, but then sometimes I love being at home, quiet. It's really, it's much easier to let Bruce out just right there instead of all the way at the front of the warehouse. Next goal, travel. I have two trips planned. I'm going to Bali with Jeff, which I mentioned so many times because I'm so excited. This is right now how I organize our travel. I need to make it prettier. I started doing this before I realized there was beautiful Notion templates I could use. So I just kind of drop stuff in here, but this was when we, we thought about going to Vietnam. Yeah, you can make much more aesthetic. Let me show you guys. Travel planning, packing list schedule like i need to put this in my notion and use it photo wall okay yeah <laughs> i wish i knew these existed back i love seeing the world i love getting inspired and kind of unplugging from the world even though these trips are going to be the first trips i vlog aspiring travel manifest and then my next trip is with cindy if you know you know cindy we're going to portugal and spain and visiting my friend in london before i head back to canada i'm excited bruce time and bruce is my puppy dog i want to make more time for him and make sure we're taking him outside for exercise and doing the proper training he goes to puppy school or he's not a puppy anymore he goes to teen school more time for myself kind of in progress working out Myself involves self-care, reading. Jeff got me a Kindle. I think it was last Valentine's Day. I've only read like 10 pages in that book. Working on my our coloring book. That should be a goal in itself. Coloring book. That is a XXL goal. These are all personal, personal, personal. I wanna work on our coloring book because maybe I'll start that in April and June. See, now it's there and now I can keep tabs on my tasks. I love this. I used to be a mural artist and graphic designer and I really miss that part of my life. 
just creating art. And I kind of incorporate my art into our brand, into our packaging, onto the paper tags of our scrunchies. And I've been wanting and been encouraged to start a coloring book. And I used to want to make one before XXL Scrunchie. That's one of my big goals, to finish a coloring book and get it made and offer it for you guys. I think that's all. Oh, and <laughs> see, I can't believe I forgot about this, but SO time significant other time. Right now we're both just working a lot, even on the weekends, to get in extra trip money and just kind of get tasks done that we need to do. I love that I can delegate where they'll be completed. I could put a Y behind every goal just to make it more meaningful. So let's see, coloring book open, Y. To bring back drawing and art. I'll just keep it simple for now because I could go on and on about my whys. Of giving back is in need of donations. They help younger girls in Prince Edward County have a place to go to after school that don't have a place to go to and it's all volunteers. It's an amazing charity. Summer floral launch and hair claws. What is my why behind this? To give our customers floral fabrics that they love to enjoy Bruce time, focus uh, uninterrupted from home. Travel, why? Why do people want to travel? I don't know, because we love it, because I love it. <laughs> to see more of the world. Bruce, why is Bruce so cool? I love him as a puppy, so rewarding later. Myself, why do I want to take care of myself? Because, because if you can't take care of yourself, are you supposed to take care of anyone else? I have to water my cup first, SO time. Because he's amazing, makes me so happy. It's growing our relationship, I love him. And by filling out the whys, it kind of makes a manifestation of everything. Each goal can be broken down into smaller steps, which I realize is the way that I work best. If I write down finish YouTube vlog, I'll be so overwhelmed at this big task that like I might not even, I might procrastinate it till the end of the day, which I've been doing. So if I break down the small tasks into smaller tasks and say like work on it for 10 minutes, then I'll work on it for 10 minutes, but then I'll kind of trick myself and I end up working on it for like two hours. So with the R for R to-do list, instead of saying R for R launch, having this big to-do list with smaller tasks makes it way easier for me. I love it. And then you feel a little bit more mentally satisfied, like we got it approved. Now I'm waiting for Monday. Can order the paper tags, start elasticing them, which we already did start. Just having a to-do list with tasks and stuff like that is awesome for someone like me that needs thrives on the satisfaction of finishing small tasks like that. Because oh, there's a saying that you remember your unfinished tasks more than your finished tasks. Because when you finish them, they're just gone. You're on to the next. Earlier, I said that Notion is a spot that I can brain dump all my ideas and all my thoughts so that I can focus on the tasks at hand. Well, they've launched Notion AI. Q&A. This saves me time by quickly retrieving information, unblocking work, and reducing repetitive questions. It gives you the convenience of asking questions and receiving AI-generated answers with links to relevant Notion pages. It goes beyond the traditional AI chatbot by understanding your business, your previous decisions, and meeting notes you may have in your Notion to accurate and relevant answers. Like I said, second brain. It's like my assistant right there, ready to answer any questions I may have. For example, what do I need to pack for Cassandra's photo shoot? I'll click up here right on the left on the search bar and I'll just search. What do I need to pack? Ask AI. Oh my gosh. This is the first time I'm using it, by the way. For Cassandra's photo shoot, you need to bring jewelry, a disco ball, piece of tile from your home. You may also want to bring dried florals, water glasses for creating shadows, and pampas grass. And it links you, it links you to the page. This is crazy. This is... Because I could just go in my Notion and click on it, but why? I can just ask quickly. It's like referencing something in my brain. Like I'll just ask my brain, but I'll ask my second brain. Let's ask my second brain another question. I love that it will just remind me instead of me having to go dive in. It's just faster, more efficient. Sweeping through my workspace in, as you could see, seconds, like an automated filing cabinet. That's crazy. What? 
do I need to do this Monday? On Monday, you have planned to wake up at 5 a.m., leave for work by 6 a.m., you have scheduled a reformer class at 7 a.m., meeting with Angela during the blit. <laughs> during the day, you plan to edit TikTok, schedule a YouTube short, book a training session. Additionally, you have planned to remove discounts from your website and review. Let's search for something else. And I love at the top how it says, hi, Tina Nguyen, XXL Scrunchie Co. Ask me anything of anything in the Tina Nguyen's notion. I'll find an answer in the pages you have access to. Everything about Bali. Let's see what it does. It literally told me several activities such as Uluwatu, Nusa, Kuda Beach. This is all the stuff on our Bali itinerary that I have in my Bali travel notion list. It's just all words written out really briefly. So I'm really impressed that it was able to tell me about the hotel and villa that I quickly noted down there. I actually had a light bulb moment when I was able to ask Notion AI Q&A what YouTube video is up next. What YouTube video is up next? The next YouTube video planned is a vlog about using Notion, scheduled to be up in the second week of February. That's unreal because usually this is what I have to do. This is YouTube content from 2022. I have the title, the, the date, status, schedule, scheduled email, reels created, notes, all that good stuff. Usually I have to scroll through my big YouTube calendar database to retrieve what's up next so I can properly plan out my next Next task. But the fact that I can quickly ask Notion AI Q&A and get the answer is so valuable to me because I don't become unfocused. Becoming defocused and distractions, distractions, <laughs> kind of get in the way of me trying to finish the task at hand. It's actually been a struggle for me as a small business owner the past few months. Anything that can limit distractions and increase my productivity is a winner in my books. When I compare Notion AI to other AI tools in the market, I am struck by its unique attributes. I know, Papa Dog. Particularly the Q&A feature that complements it so well. The AI understands not just general information, but the specific internal knowledge contained within my own Notion workspace. This is a key difference from other AI models that are only trained on publicly available information. Like I could not go ask another AI chap, another AI tool, like when is my Portugal trip? They would have no idea because that information is in my brain or in my email or in my Notion. The scope of Notion AI really impresses me. Its integration with Notion allows it to search all across my documents, projects, and meeting notes. This is incredibly useful as I can just quickly retrieve information from my vast store of data. In essence, Notion AI is like a personal assistant that knows my workspace inside and out, dare I say, better than me, and is always ready and there to help me find what I need. If you're already a Notion AI user, you can get started today with Q&A already in your Notion workspace. If you're interested in trying it out, join the waitlist to get early access. And you can get the link to that in my description box. But let's get back to Notion overall. I love Notion to stay organized for my small business, even for my puppy dog information, because as a small business owner, I'm not only managing myself, but a team of eight people. I need to make sure that my week is planned so I can go in, focus on what I need to. When other stuff gets thrown in the way, I know what my priorities are for each day. Or if I don't get to it, I can easily shuffle them around without rewriting it if it were on paper. Because I used to be a paper planning person, I would write things on post-it notes, they would just get lost, and then sometimes you have to completely rewrite stuff. By being reminded of my core values, goals, and literally everything under the sun that I find important to me through incredibly structured, personalized form in Notion has been more healing than therapy. It makes the daily decisions much easier. More importantly, it makes it easier to stay true to myself. There is a lot going on as a small business owner and dog mom, and it's easy to get distracted. But by planning and putting tasks aside and putting them in levels of priority, and breaking them down, I know I will get it done eventually. That just puts my mind at ease. I can stick to the priority and not stress yet about those incomplete tasks because those are just gonna be never ending. Mm -hmm.
I can't wait to continue growing my Notion in 2024 and beyond. I know you're excited for the Notion. Oh my goodness. I hope this vlog gives you guys ideas for planning, goal planning, motivation, or it just helps you get started. Sometimes that's the hardest part, honestly, starting something. Even if it's a small task, starting something new, downloading something new, watching a new show. Bring your goals to life this year with Notion. Get started for free using the link in my description box. Oh, and please, Share with me your 2024 goals too. Let's keep each other motivated. Thank you again, Notion, for sponsoring today's video. We love ya! He is more than 30 pounds. Look at him. And now we're gonna go for a walk with our doggo friend, Oakley, and Kylie in Picton. You can go chase some snowballs. Bye, guys. Thanks, Notion.